This is for all them PS boys out there, man. Y'all know what time it is. If you a Sony pony, you need to get hype. If you a Xbox boy, you need to get hype. If you a Nintendo boy, you need to get hype. Get hype, get hype, get hype. If you a Sony pony, giddy up, giddy up. If you a Sony pony, you need to get hype. Get hype, get hype, get hype. Get hype, man, it's about to go down I said the haters gonna hate They hating on the T-flops They can't stop us because we got the exclusives The games, the storytelling, minds blowing Understand them Xbox boys, they trying to destroy us Nintendo boys, we still stand tall Boys in red, you know how we do it Let's get it on, let's get it popping And this is why we gotta get hype, man Let's get it on, man Hey. Hey, 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 you need to get hype. Hey, 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 you need to get hype. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy. Marlin back at it again with another edition of the show and I literally hope that everyone is doing okay today. Me, just been busy, busy. A lot of stuff been going down um, behind the scenes and everything. So yeah, your boy has been grinding, 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 grinding. Now, <clears throat> Nation News, <clears throat> I do have some things that I'm working on trying to give you guys a little bit much more inside information on a lot of things that's actually going on. So I'm going to kickstart everything off with Jeff Grubb. So if you're not busy Sunday, um, I will have a special one on one with Jeff Grubb. I'm going to have a lot of questions for him. So you guys don't want to miss out on that exclusive show hopefully all goes according to plan we already talked he's actually subscribed to the channel so shout outs to jeff grubb if he's watching shout outs um we'll have him on the show one-on-one -on, -one on sunday i'm still trying to work out the time frame but it's probably going to be um in the afternoon and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff we're going to talk about the playstation 5 we're going to talk about the xbox series x we're going to talk about things that he's allowed to tell us. And so you don't want to miss out on that exclusive um, interview here, right here on the one on one show. So that's a different addition to the show. It's called the one on one show. And um, we're going to try to have different like episodes um, to that one on one. So anytime we have a special guest, we'll have that segment of the show. So you have your regular show with me just talking to you guys about what's going on and news and topics that the news team has sent me. And then we're gonna have one-on-one -on -one <clears throat> with developers, publishers, 
uh, people in the industry, right? We're going to talk about some crucial information. And then we're going to have our podcast, which is every Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. So you don't want to miss out. So looking forward uh, to having Jeff Grubb right here on the show on Sunday. And this is definitely going down. So we'll see what um, works out there. We do know that Ubisoft is going to be happening as well on Sunday. So we'll try to work out the time frame. I don't know what time Ubisoft event is going to be, but yeah, clearly it will be before or after that whole situation goes down because he said that he's actually free um, on the weekends. So, you know, because during the week, he's probably busy. And you know, he writes for Venture Beat, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, Jeff Grubb is a busy man. I understand that. Heck, I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be keeping a schedule here for you guys from one to three. And I can't even keep that because, yeah, I'm getting pulled in all different directions right now. So, trying to do the best I can, guys. And my back, my lower back has been hurting a lot <laughs> as of late. So, you know, ever since my car accident that I had like almost like two years ago, it messed me up to the point where I can't really lift or pick anything up. So hence why God has blessed us with this platform and everything that we're doing. So just a little history lesson for a lot of people who don't know that about me. Yeah, my lower back is not 100 percent, but I'm praying that as time progresses, I almost had surgery on it, but you know, doctor was like, if I keep complaining that the lower back is hurting because what happened when the truck actually hit my car and it, mind you, I was on my way to work at the time and this guy wasn't paying attention, boom, right in the back of my car. And, um, yeah, I had to get tests done on it. It was just talking about it. Just it's crazy, right? So I had to get some tests done. I had to get some steroids injections in there to kind of help, I guess, the healing process, because I guess the lower spine, like the disc in my lower back was like inflamed. So hence why I'm doing the job that I'm doing, talking to you guys, sitting down and talking to you guys and not doing anything like physical or anything like that, because if I bend over too much or try to pick anything up, start irritating me, start bothering me. So. But you know what? We'll be fine. I'm hanging in there. I'm trusting God that we'll be okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough of me. Um, hopefully everybody um, is doing okay and everything. Appreciate you guys for coming through, man. I really do. Really, really do. All right. So let's go champs. All right. So first topic that we're going to be talking about here is Xbox One consoles discontinued. First, we heard that they were phasing out the Xbox One S, and this is coming from retailers, people with inside on, you know, inventory shipments and stuff like that. So first, we learned that the Xbox One S edition um, is apparently supposed to be phasing out and then the One X uh, completely discontinued. So it's a lot of different things that are going on with keeping stock of the OG um, you know, Xbox One consoles. And here's the thing. We do know that Microsoft looks like they're going to just make the Xbox series, the new Xbox line of Xboxes, and then phase out the Xbox One completely. It just makes sense, right? Xbox One, or what, what would you call it? Xbox series, even though some people call it Xbox One series, um, but Xbox series, yeah, it's a series of new Xboxes. So it will make sense for them to phase out you know, the old one and bring in the new one. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we're also going to be talking about Sony invests $250 million in Epic Games. Wow. That is a lot of money. Not in the sense that Tim Sweetney and Epic Games really need the money, but that's a lot of money. And best believe there are some really, really good stuff that is going to be coming out of that. And so we're going to talk more on that. We're also going to talk about the PlayStation 5 new box art, and it's lining up with how I was really imagined the box art to be in the first place. Yeah, it's Miles Morales. It looks phenomenal. Can't wait. That's why I said, are you guys sure you guys going the digital route? Because me, I need my physical games, man. I need my physical games like 
I can't do the digital thing. I only do digital games if I don't have a choice or if I feel like I don't want to leave the house or anything like that, then I'm like, you know what? Why not? Or if it's on sale, but you can't turn down a physical game, especially with the way how Sony is trying to design uh, the physical box and everything like that. Looks really dope. We're going to take a look at that. We're also going to be talking about Nintendo and how they're having a new treehouse like presentation tomorrow. This just came out of left field. And so I think Nintendo is trying to revamp the way how they do their directs and how they actually do their presentations. And so there's a treehouse tomorrow. We'll see if I can actually stream that. Apparently there's something big that's supposed to be showcased right after um, Paper Mario Origami King. So yeah, that's that's very, very interesting there. Uh, we're also supposed to be getting a Nintendo Direct this month. Now we do have a specific date for the direct so shout outs to kilos or kelos um shout outs to kelos he's actually subscribed uh so if you see him in the chat he is the source of all of this information everybody is talking about this nintendo direct so shout outs to kilos if he's in here or whatnot seemed like a very very credible guy everybody is talking about him we're also going to talk about the playstation 5's create button uh, we, we're going to be talking about Nintendo hints at Nintendo Switch 2. Okay, now, come on now. We know that Nintendo is going to launch another Switch or another console. Come on now. We know this has been in the pipeline for a while, so this comes as no surprise. Now, we're also going to be talking about the topic quality over quantity or quality versus quantity. All right. And a host of other things right here on the show. So strap up, make sure you guys are getting ready here. I like I always tell you guys should know how I do the show already. Some of you guys are asking me questions and I'm summarizing topics. So hold your questions for Q&A. Now it's time for shout outs. All right. Now let's do the shout outs. Tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation. Like I said, hold up on your questions. You guys are asking me questions while I'm summarizing the topics. That's why I'm not seeing your questions. All right. So hold, hold that, hold that. All right. Hold your seats. All right. Let's get with the shout outs, man. Let's get the shout outs on the road. Let's get that over with. And then we can answer your questions. We have a separate edition of the show for questions. Okay. All right. RGN. How you doing, sir? Welcome. Welcome. Vinny. How you doing? Um, it's Dodge. How you doing? Silva. How you doing? Carlos Giant BJ Emmanuel Brian Kelly. Um, it's Dodge. How you doing? Let's go champs with the Z at the end. Um, Jack Gene Elite PlayStation Forever Luke Peter the Kev BJ um, Jack Jackals um, Yeah uh, Sean Zen Dragon uh loan to wonder how you doing bro uh jasmine karen let's go champ we out here uh young hate uh for dad um brandon matheus rump uh rumple neck um one uh let's see who else we got messina what's good messina so happy to hear about your relative and that they're actually doing okay so shout out to messina shout out to messina we will have messina on the podcast this saturday so shout out to messina uh, Paper Mario 89, how you doing? Um, Nightly T, how you doing? Joel Miller, what's up, dude? How you doing? Feta, uh, we got Huffman. Um, love you too, bro. Keith, Clarence, uh, Sawyer. Uh, let's see here. Loon, what's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Terraflop thing. What's up, man? Um, DJ Flacco, that's the homie Flacco, man. What's good? Um, let's see here. George, um, Marcus. Um, Max Payne, how you doing? How you feeling? Skip 2011, what's up? Um, Terry Thomas, how you doing? Um, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> Sonics, how you doing? Optim Optimum, Optimum, how you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome. Um, let's see here. LA, how you doing? Welcome. Um, let's see who else we have. KBJ, how you doing? Jose, how you doing, sir? Welcome to the show. Um, Nintendo Tuber, how you doing? 
welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, hey, hey, we gotta what? get we, we gotta start off strong. I can't believe this. Thank you so oh my much. God. Welcome to the brotherhood. Thank you so much for that donation to get us started here. I'm getting dragged in Street Fighter Five right now. Thank you so much for that uh, ten dollars, man. Really do appreciate you. That definitely knocks down our goal to one eighty nine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So we got one eighty nine left to go on our goal. Thank you so much. Straight from the VA. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Um, <clears throat> Nedson, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, we got Curtis. Hey, let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, DB King, what's up? How you doing? Uh, let's go. We out here. Casey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, let's see here. Xavier, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Um, Abraham, how you doing? Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, it says to all the mods. What's up, champs? Hey, Jasmine, Karen, let's go, champs. We out here, Dark Link. Let's go, man. We out here, Hurricane. Make sure you guys hit that share button. Can we hit that like button and hit that share button as well? Let's make lemonade today. Let's make some lemonade. Um, we got Big Cloud, aka Ryan. Let's go, man. The homie showing a lot of love, man. Rocking the same um, goatee as Mar. Let's go. Hey, we out here, man. It says a hype song, please. Oh, you didn't hear when I was playing it um gabriel terry what's up man how you doing uh let's see here let's see here marley marlin what up champ hey appreciate the love uh jasmine karen we out here man gang let's get it man we chilling bro um max what's up uh Sa sagar how you doing what's up dude beetlejuice how you doing nighthawk after burner g2g bills how you doing um Hold on, Sabo. We'll get to that in just a second, okay? Don't worry. We'll get to that in just a second. I think... No, 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 no. We did in G212. I mean, G12. We didn't change it. Um, <clears throat> I just had some stuff I had to take care of. Um, hey, how you doing, man? Welcome to the show. All right. So I think that's everybody. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that share button. It definitely does help out more than you guys would ever think, okay? Now... Let's get the ball rolling here. So the first topic that I want to talk about that I want to jump into here is that all Xbox one consoles are getting discontinued. And so somebody put this out and says something interesting. I noticed today at my job, I worked in electronics at target and I was checking to see if we are getting any more Xbox One consoles. I notice every single Xbox console we normally uh, carried was discontinued. So, dang, that's crazy. So right now, this guy is saying that works at Target. He's saying that when he was actually checking to see if they were getting any more Xbox One consoles, He's, he's noticing that every single Xbox console we normally carry was discontinued. Meaning es essentially our store will no longer be carrying any Xbox One S or Xbox One X. Doesn't much, I'm sorry, doesn't make much uh, sense to top two top selling consoles in July at a major retailer if the console is expected to release holiday 2020. Made me wonder if maybe a surprise early launch of Xbox Series X is on the way. Wow, a bunch of typos there, but you guys get the idea. Microsoft is silently discontinuing the Xbox One. Yeah, so retailers are not getting their regular uh, replenishment, like when it comes to like restock and things like that. Yeah, that comes as no surprise. Like I've been telling you guys, Xbox series, series of new consoles, starting off with the Series X 
And then we're talking about this Lockhart, AKA Series S, and then whichever other one after that. So I think this new Xbox Series is gonna phase out um, the previous Xbox One line of consoles. Makes sense because you can't even find the Xbox One Sad Edition in stores at all. I mean, I've been looking, not looking to buy, but you know, I've been like sniffing around trying to see if I can find one. And the Sad Edition, you can't find. Xbox One S's for real. Like you can't, I, I haven't seen an Xbox One S brand new in a long time, let alone the One X. Now you can call GameStop and they might have a used one. And even GameStop seems like they've, they've been running low on stocks and everything like that. So yeah, that's interesting though, because, and here's where I think it's stupid to phase out these older consoles, because here's the thing, you're gonna have consumers that are gonna say, well, I can't afford the Xbox Series X. I can't afford the Xbox Series S, right? The Lockhart, I can't afford that. And you're gonna have some people saying, well, what's the point of you discontinuing the whole Xbox One line of consoles when you're sitting here telling us that everything that's developed for Xbox Series X is going to be across every console? So now you're stopping people from buying your existing console. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's like Sony saying, oh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna discontinue the PS4 Pro and we're gonna discontinue the OG PS4. That doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? Because you want people to still buy your console. I mean, stock is not gonna be as high as if it was in its prime, but you still need people to buy your freaking console. You see what I'm saying? Especially, when you're in Microsoft's position and you're telling consumers that everything that is going to be released for the new console, you'll be able to play it on everything, including PC. So why not keep the, the one X in stock or yeah, at least the one X in stock, right? If you're going to phase out the rest, especially the old VCR box, you can't find that old launch VCR box brand new. We get it. That's like seven years old. We get that one, but at least the X keep it in stock. I know the, the S is kind of old, but come on, man. Like you got to keep some stocks of your older consoles because a lot of people, they might can't afford next gen. You know what I'm saying? Like $70 for a game. They're like, uh, uh, you're going to have some people, man, I, I want to buy the, the one S or I want to buy the VCR box or I want to buy the sad edition or you, you, you want to, I don't know what Microsoft is thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like people are going to be looking for these consoles, but Hey, I guess you can get them used. <laughs> I'm guessing that's going to be your only route moving forward as time progresses. Now let's move on to the next topic. Let me hear what you guys have to say in the chat about that, because that's crazy. So Sony invests. $250 million in Fortnite maker Epic games. That is insane. Like, I mean, I'm literally sitting here thinking like to myself, wait a minute. When I first heard the story, I was like, wait, is that WB games? Cause man, if Sony sweeps WB, we know from what we've been hearing that Microsoft is looking into purchasing WB. But man, if that falls in the hands of Sony, that would be insane. Okay. So yeah, Sony has invested $250 million for a majority stake in, in Fortnite maker Epic Games. The company announced today with the new money, Epic Games has raised $1.83 billion to date. That's a lot of freaking money. And so we know that Sony and Epic have a very good relationship. Hence why we got that demo showcasing what the PS five can potentially give us. And so I'm looking to see some very, very good games or very, very good partnership coming out of this investment, because that is a lot of money to just drop and say, Hey, look, boom. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotta be some really, really cool stuff for the PlayStation five that we just don't necessarily know about, especially with the Unreal Engine five and how that runs extremely well, if not better 
on the PlayStation 5, according to a lot of people and also developers and a lot of other insiders have been saying how, yeah, it, it we know that it's going to run on Series X, but man, that relationship between Epic and, and Sony is like butter, like it's literally butter. And so the company said the deal cements an already close relationship and reinforces their share goal to advance the state of art in technology, entertainment, and socially connected online services. This close relationship underscore in May when Epic's first showed the upcoming Unreal 5 engine um, graphics running on the PlayStation 5 as the company itself has disclosed Epic Games has raised $1.58 billion, okay, in three previous funding rounds. Um, in 2012, the company received three, oh my God, this is crazy, $330 million in investment from Tencent for 40% ownership stake. So that's crazy, man. That's crazy. So can't wait to see some really, really cool stuff uh, coming out of this one here. So let me know what you guys think about all of that. That is definitely unbelievable. And man, Sony got that money. So I'm hoping if they can snag WB, that will be good for Sony. That will be good for Sony, you know, especially for the PlayStation 5. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And all right, what's up? What's up, dude? Uh, first look at box art for upcoming PS5 games. Holy freaking cow. You guys, I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be blown away when you see this. My, 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 my. Feast your eyes on the first official PlayStation 5 box art. It says Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I just love that. A black Spider-Man. I love it. I love his suit. It's so freaking detailed. Um, down on the lower right, it shows PlayStation Studio and Sonic Games. Man, this is fire. This is how I was imagined how the box art is going to look because it has to match what the console look like. And so being that we're going with a black and white here, yeah, it just makes sense uh, for us to have a sort of white, black, and blue, because, you know, blue is PlayStation colors. Um, but yeah, this look, that, that Spider-Man box art looks fire, like literally. Um, so shout outs to Sony, man. This is definitely official. A quick update for our fans. Here's a first look at the box art for the PlayStation 5 games you will be seeing on store shelves this holiday starring Marvel uh, superhero Miles Morales. So Sony out here still dropping stuff. I mean, literally, this is crazy. So let me know y'all thoughts on that. I think that's um, actually really, really huge. That Sony is just giving us bits and pieces of information um, as we progress. And you know, I know a lot of people has been asking and saying to me like, man, when is Sony is going to show the box art and everything like that for the PS5 games? Well, there you go. That's what the box art for the games, the upcoming PS5 games are going to look like. So hopefully you guys are digging that. Now, let's move on to the next topic here. And this one, I think <sighs> this is very interesting. So the PS5's create button could allow players to create mini shareable demos. So mini shareable demos. So that means you'll be able to click the, uh, the, the create button and record maybe small portions of your game and then make it into a demo and actually share it maybe on Twitter, maybe um, on YouTube. Like maybe let's say if you're fighting a boss or something like that, like let's say if you're playing Miles Morales and you're fighting a boss and you want to record something, it's just kind of like how the share button is or what I say, yeah, the share button on the on the PS4, when you click that, you can record what, like 15 minute gameplay, sort of like that, but it's like mini. So my guess is probably like maybe two or three minutes or so. 
and you'll be able to have that so that you can actually share. So I think that's actually really, really cool that Sony is trying to once again, once again, why can't I see things like this for the Series X, man? Ah, I hope, hope Microsoft can find a way to actually add this into uh, their ecosystem and with their controller because I don't see nobody talking. I haven't since we found out about the Xbox Series X and that controller. I haven't seen not one developer, not one developer have anything to say about the controller. Don't you guys find that odd unless Microsoft have some sort of strict like NDA on that controller to where nobody can talk about. But come on now, if they could talk about the PlayStation 5 controller, then they should be able to talk about the Series X. Like, come on, bruh. I don't know what's up with that. Now, listen to this one. A new create button on the PlayStation 5 uh, controller, DualSense could have a couple of interesting features according to the latest patent by Sony. It looks like the button will allow players to create their own in-game shareable demos. That's lit, man. Count me in. What's up, Anthony Rudd? Welcome to the show, man. Make sure you guys hit that share button, hit that like button. We definitely out here. Now, listen to this one. And I think this one right here, a lot of people should pay attention. Now, here's the thing. According to the latest patent by Sony, which recently appeared online. A similar feature could also be available via the create button. Now the patent description states that players will be able to cut out gameplay and make mini games limited to specific scenes. That is insane. So you'll be able to cut out gameplay. Like I said, if you're fighting a boss or something like that, and you want to share that with your audience or you want to share that out on Twitter. That's pretty dope. So yeah, it's mini games. So you can make like mini games limited to specific scenes, man, that's crazy. Now here's the thing. So players can then save the mini games on the cloud and share it. So you can save it in the cloud. So, you know, you have PlayStation plus, you know, that comes with cloud save features and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure it might be something like that, right? So you, you'll you be able to save these mini games on the cloud and share it with other users who can play them. Wait, hold up. I thought it was just recorded. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> Yo, what in the freaking world? What? Wait, I thought it was just, bruh. I literally thought it was just, okay, this is it. Like you could just record a video like you've been doing now, but just in smaller increments so you can share. You can save, let me read that again. That's crazy. Players can then save these mini games on the cloud and share it with other users who can play them. Wait, okay. This sounds similar to gamer net feature in Tiger Woods where players were able to save shots and put them online for others to replicate. That's insane. Holy freaking cow. Sony out here. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. I don't I don't know what to say, bruh. Sony out here. Now listen to this. Furthermore, it seems that Sony want to allow other players to relive moments that players record rather than simply watch the video so you can actually play the game not just watch the video but actually just play wait that's crazy wait what oh my god y'all yeah <sighs> breathe marlin breathe breathe marlin yo 
Yo. Wait, hold up. Tactical nuke. I got to do a tactical nuke on this one. Breathe, man. Tactical Breathe. Nuke incoming! Bruh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Sony out here once again. Innovation. Innovation. Something that other competitors are not freaking doing. And this is why I tell people when you come over to the PlayStation side, when you come over to the blue side, this is what happens. You get mind blowing features. You get, you see these, all these crazy patents. I'm not saying that all these patents are going to come to tuition, but man, Sony out here, bruh, really, I'm telling you, this is like the best PlayStation console of all time since PS2. Like literally when it, from, when it comes to a technological standpoint, like from an innovative standpoint, PS5, hands down the best, the best, bruh. Like, I mean, this is crazy, like literally. So like I, like, I just break it down. They don't just want you to relive moments that players record rather than just simply watching the video. But for example, you could save a certain unique gameplay segment that happened in your playthrough and share it with friends so they can play that moment too. So not just watching, but you can actually play it. So I'm guessing maybe if you already have the game or if you already purchased the game, remember yesterday we talked about three different ways that Sony is going to integrate the way how we play games on PlayStation 5. Retail games, digital games, and streaming games. So instead of you sitting there waiting for a game to download, you can actually stream the game right away so there's no delay and especially with that super fast ssd you just be able to jump into the experience right away and you'll be able to minimize the game and go to something else or you can have the game up and then have another screen up so sort of like an ipad pro where you can multitask like you can have two windows up at the same time so let's say if you're playing the game and you decide that man i need to go into playstation store and see what's up you can actually go into the playstation store that was this was coming from one of the patents that we were getting where you have these mini screens where you could be playing the game and you could be browsing the store you can multitask like never before with ps4 you just got to come completely out of the game and then go into whatever you want but then you can actually resume where you left off but ps5 is going to make it so much more seamless you know what i'm saying to the point where you you're not left out of the experience man this is amazing now here's the thing of course this is just speculation at the moment sony is yet to officially reveal everything um, the PS5's new create button can do. Hopefully we'll hear more details at the upcoming PlayStation 5 event that is rumored for August. So man, August is looking bright right now. It seems as though a lot of people are excited, um, you know, for that particular month because Sony is about to show us more first party games more third party stuff. I mean, it is so much stuff. I do think though that Sony is just not going to let this month go away. So in approximately four more days, I think it's on when, when they said on the 13th, we should be getting pre-order. We should be getting um, price and release date on the 13th. So just like how they, they stealth drop this box art um, for Spider-Man Miles Morales and to showcase what the upcoming PS5 games are going to be. Well, game uh, box is going to look like, but at the same time, I do believe that August might be a jam packed month because if Sony just release pre order price and release date in a blog post or a, like a video or something like that, then August is going to be packed because we still need to know about backwards compatibility. We still need to know about the system itself, like all the features and everything like that, a full teardown so we understand what's going on with the PS5. And we need to see the first party and third party games. We need to see PS4 games running on the system. 
We need um, an in-depth take on backwards compatibility. So there's a lot of different things that I think Sony needs to talk about unless we're gonna get something in September, which we've been hearing um, rumors that we supposed to be getting another event in September. So something is going down in September, something is going down in August. So those are the two big months apparently because I think October might not be anything at all, or it might be just be like a few little things here and there, but either way, get excited for PS5. I think this is great, great news that Sony's out here trying to find different unique ways for us to enjoy what we play. And that share button, that create button, um, you know, I would like for them to actually build up on share factory, because honestly, back in the day, if you bought a PlayStation 4 and you didn't have a computer, you'd have been good to go because literally you can actually create videos right with that share button with the with the share factory you could make a video in share factory like record some gameplay because you can record up to 15 minutes worth of gameplay and commentate right there from the playstation 4. so let's hope that they actually build up on that you know with the playstation 5 make share factory better make the streaming capabilities also better as well so when you hit the create button you can stream directly from the playstation 5 you can probably do 4k 30 4k 60 i don't think you probably can do 4k 60 streaming on youtube because there's probably going to be some latency issues people probably uh their connection is probably not that strong enough but i'm just saying like up the resolution to what you can stream give us um the ability to customize our layout and things like that what's up plus how you doing welcome welcome to um the show here appreciate you guys man now let's move on to the next topic at hand this is for my nintendo boys so you see me rocking the red the white and the black today so check out gameplay of the upcoming game paper mario the origami king tomorrow 7 10 so 7 10 you know that's the date um at 10 a.m pt nintendo treehouse live july 2020 plus we'll feature a first reveal and gameplay for a title in a franchise new to developer way forward so it seems as though they're going to be showcasing um that particular new game and of course they're going to be showing off uh paper mario here so this is not necessarily what a lot of people really really want a lot of people really want a full-fledged nintendo direct which leads me over into the next topic at hand here which shout outs to kilos if he's in um the chat and everything shout outs man thank you so much for supporting the show and being a part of the show and everything so there's a full nintendo direct that is rumored to be coming this month okay and there were rumors saying that yeah we're not gonna get a direct anytime soon until september or so but yeah according to this credible leaker like i say kelos he's actually inside of um the show here so if you see him tingling around say hi say what's up to him he's a very credible guy now this article is saying that this is according to insider kelos who suggested on recent era forum this weekend that the nintendo direct could take place on monday july 20th so monday july 20th is when um this full direct is supposed to be going down this is what everybody wants because apparently according to fuwakawa he's saying that hey the world pandemic did not put a wrench in our first party titles in our development cycle so everything is going according to plan here which means that we should be getting a good solid nintendo direct on july 20th now july 20th the week of the 20th is going to be huge because microsoft we know they have their um xbox series x first party showcase on the 23rd and then in that same week microsoft i think they have some sort of game demo situation that they're going to be doing as well where they're going to be dropping demos left and right so that whole week if this is true and this guy do have a good track record so yeah we'll see if july 20th is going to be 
the date for a full Nintendo Direct. I'm really hyped. Cannot wait to see what's in the pipeline for Nintendo because yeah, they've been very quiet and a lot of people are saying that the Switch is dead. Yeah. If anything, the Xbox is dead. Like the Xbox One is dead at this point. Not Nintendo because like I said, once they drop a Direct, once they start, you know, kicking up steam and start showing what they got for 2020, uh, minds are going to be blown. So we'll see exactly if this is going to go down on the 20th here. Now, told you we have things for the boys in red today. Nintendo hints features coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And we come on, man. Every time when a company makes one particular system they already plan for the next one in advance or they have a concept or an idea for the next one so we know another switch or another nintendo console is coming out now we don't know if it's going to be a next gen uh, nintendo console or what have you but we heard rumors saying that nintendo is in talks with samsung regarding the screen man samsung right now can do no wrong they're about to drop that note 20 plus and samsung actually makes screens for apple like for their iphones and such so samsung is one of the leading companies when it comes to like screens tvs phones and stuff like that so apparently they're in talks and i'm telling you man samsung got the best tvs the best phones i mean as far as like color being vibrant and stuff them oled tvs i mean it's just insane right so the fact that nintendo is in talks apparently from that early rumor that we've been getting we'll see what happens on that one so at nintendo's 80th annual general meeting um, of shareholders nintendo president shintoro furukawa and director of ko uh shata if I'm saying that correctly, not good with Japanese names, uh, were asked about the future of the new Nintendo Switch and future game consoles. Now, both Fukawa and Shotota um, give a glimpse of what's to come next from the next Nintendo console. Now, what to expect from Nintendo's new console? And could you tell us about the outlook for your next game system? And this is what they have to say. Game hardware has always displayed an image on a TV or other kind of screen while you do something. And I think that's where uh, the limits for this format are. Would the hardware you're thinking about go beyond those limits? The answer, our current generation game system, Nintendo Switch, has entered its fourth year since launch, but its momentum is increasing. Shuntaro Fukawa, uh, representative, director, and president responded. He continued, we believe there are two factors behind this. First is the existence of two hardware configurations with different characteristics in Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite. The second factor is that Nintendo's development resources are concentrated on developing content for a single platform, Nintendo Switch. We want to extend the life cycle of Nintendo Switch while maximizing such advantages. Now that's interesting. Now listen to this. Now the long winded answer tells us that Nintendo isn't shying away from the portable console anytime soon because why would you shy away from something that's making you bank you know what i mean that's like sony saying you know what man we're gonna stop making consoles we're going we're going back to handheld are you insane do you forget how terrible the vita sold come on bro like the vita is a great system but it did not sell that well i think the best selling handheld for sony was the PSP. I mean, hands down the PSP. The Vita is way better than the PSP, but somehow the, the PSP is still the best selling, one of the greatest handheld console of all time. And so you gotta leave the handheld to the Kings. That's like Microsoft throwing their hat into the arena and saying, oh, just like how those rumors were actually saying 
that Microsoft is gonna make a portable Series X. Bruh, stop it before it's too late. Or a portable um, S version. No, not in the way that you think it's going to be. You see what I'm saying? So Nintendo will be insane to shy away from handheld or from a portable console anytime soon. Like I'm pretty sure the next Nintendo console is probably going to be similar to the Switch in some form factor in some sort of way because that's what's printing the money. You see what I'm saying? Like Nintendo got that whole market sold up. So now here's the thing. In addition to performance aspects, higher technical specifications. This is what we want to hear. This is what we want to hear when it comes to Nintendo. Nintendo is stubborn Japanese old men that just don't want to push forward. It's like Apple. It's like, I, I love Apple and shout outs to, to my girl and everything. She's the one that's getting me into Apple. Apple is the next one. Don't get me started. They like making these incremental, small incremental improvements to their hardware. Like, come on, bro. Like you're going to keep the same design. They're doing all these little mid gen refreshes with their laptops, with their phones. Like, come on, Apple. How are you not going to put a charger? How are you not going to give us a charger with the iPhone 12? Like, why are we going backwards instead of forward? You already removed the freaking headphone jack for how long now that you remove the headphone jack. So why the heck are you going backwards when well, you should be going forward? So this is dope news to hear that <laughs> Nintendo is thinking about higher technical specifications. This is good. This is good. Now, here's the thing. Nintendo's dedicated video game platforms are developed with a focus on providing a comfortable environment for consumers to play fun fun see when you say fun that changes everything right there because when you're talking about power you're talking about for the hardcore you still have fun playing games but nintendo games was like all their games is about fun family you know what i'm saying for everyone and so man look i literally cannot wait to see what nintendo is going to do next now, here's the other part. Like, here's the ending part right here. It says, tell us um, that even when Nintendo Switch cycle of consoles is long past, Nintendo will likely develop something that you can play at home, but still take anywhere with you on the go. So yeah, whatever they're going to develop, the next Switch or next console, yeah, you'll be able to play it at home and you'll be able to take it out on the go. And I think the Switch did a incredible job when it comes to that form factor, when it comes to that type of medium. Instead, the online is trash. Let's not forget that. And there's still no native chat support when it comes to Nintendo. And that's why I don't even play my Switch. There's no point. There's really no point because online is trash. You can't talk to your friends, right? And most of the games already, I'm tired of most of them games already. Smash, don't even play it. Most of the games on there, I'm like, eh. Eh, I played on my PS4. I played on my Xbox. If I'm on the go, yeah, fine. But yeah, it's just gathering dust at this point. Now, let's get to the next topic at hand here. And I think um, this is sort of pretty obvious. But at the same time, I think a lot of us should know this already. So quality over quantity. It's starting to appear that next gen consoles have more similarity than we think despite the two approach. Now here's the two approach. This is coming from Liquid Titan. The GPU contains 36 CUs at 2.3 gigahertz, but with a cache scrubbers more efficient. Now the Xbox Series X GPU contains 52 CUs at 1.8 gigahertz more horsepower right so like i've been saying to a lot of people that i think you know it doesn't matter at the end of the day right which one is having a higher clock it's quality over quantity and you know with sony you get quality you know with microsoft you get quantity 
right? Because Microsoft developers or the Xbox, the whole Xbox brand, their developers don't really take the extra time that Sony developers do. You see what I'm saying? So their main thing is a quantity thing. They're rolling out Game Pass. They're doing all sorts of confusing things. They're doing cloud. They're doing um, all this stuff in the background. Like, it's just kind of like, okay, we need you to focus on your console here. That's the most important thing. We need you to focus on that. We need you to also focus on quality exclusive games because that's what drives people to buy your console. And so hopefully this generation that Microsoft can just pull away from giving us quantity and give us titles that is going to resonate with us. We'll see on July 23rd, because now leading over into the next segment here of the show. Now we're hearing talks of what possibly Sony is going to show at their August state of play. And we're also hearing talks about what Microsoft is supposed to be showing. And with people with inside information on what Microsoft is supposed to be showing, yeah. They're just like, wow, I was expecting this. I was expecting that. That's why I'm saying I'm going into this one, lowering my expectations with Microsoft. I do believe that it's gonna be a good show, but I need to be blown away. I need this presentation to be more than good. You see what I'm saying? I need it to be more than good. I don't I don't want it to just be good because Microsoft owe us something much better than good because we've been waiting this long for them to give us something that is going to be mind blowing, right? And we know after Microsoft, Sony is going to come with that hammer. Now, we don't know if it's going to be early August or mid August. Now, we've been hearing rumors that it's going to be late August. So like maybe the week before, like the last week or, or whatnot, we supposed to be getting the PlayStation state of play and how the state of play is from what I was hearing. It's different. Like it's going to like I'm guessing Sony trying to make this like the biggest state of play because obviously they got to show the first and third party stuff because they held back on a lot of things that was supposed to be shown in this particular, uh, you know, presentation. And so they're going to be showcasing all that stuff that was missing. Now, a lot of people are saying that we're going to see God of War 2. Like I said, God of War 2. Yeah, a teaser. Uh, maybe a small like five second teaser just like probably the freaking logo and everybody's gonna go crazy we already know it's coming right so god of war 2 yeah i think there's a slight chance that that might be there and if it is there then it's going to be a small teaser now the next game spider-man 2 We've been hearing that Spider-Man 2 was supposed to be at this particular one that we just had in June and got pulled out apparently. So yeah, Spider-Man 2, yeah, running on PS5, people are gonna lose their freaking minds. I think Sony was probably trying to decide like, you know what, Miles Morales is coming out, so let's show Miles Morales first. And then in August, we'll show Spider-Man 2. So yeah, I do think that there's a high possibility that we could see Spider-Man 2. So how many games have we talked about? We talked about God of War 2. We talked about Spider-Man 2. Silent Hill. We heard from a credible leaker, aesthetic uh, gamer on Twitter. Now this guy right here, he is very credible when it comes to like scary games. When it comes to giving us credible information on scary games, he said that it's 100% that we're getting a new Silent Hill. I love Silent Hill, grew up playing Silent Hill, and this is huge. So if we could potentially see this running on PS5 at this state of play, that's going to be huge. That's going to steal the show. So that's three heavy hidden games right there. Um, now, obviously, there are talks about a multiplayer game. Um, I know hip hop said maybe we might see a new SOCOM game or it might be a new kill zone or something like that. 
or whatever else Guerrilla Games is going to be working on. I do believe that it's going to be some sort of multiplayer game to really showcase what the PlayStation 5 can do multiplayer wise and how seamless that experience is, especially with the 3D audio and with the built in microphone that's actually inside of the DualSense controller. So, yeah, I do believe some sort of multiplayer game or a, a single player game with heavy multiplayer should be at the show we've been hearing about a strong multiplayer um experience so i do believe that might be there um also also obviously strong ui um presence there tear down on the system backwards compatibility right showing ps4 games and how they're going to look better and play better on the playstation 5 talk about the ui in depth show us the playstation store show us how in and out we can get with games and you know all these new features that we've been hearing about in the past so sony has a lot to talk about in august if we don't get more things in july you see what i'm saying if we because rumors are saying july 13th we're supposed to be getting price pre-order and release date if we just get that then that means they owe us at least a two-hour show you see what i'm saying at least a two-hour show or at least an hour i mean they can show a lot of stuff and talk about a lot of stuff but i think it's probably going to be two hours because you have to do a teardown you have to talk about the ui right you have to talk about backwards compatibility and you have to show the first party games and then you have third party games as well that you're going to be showcasing so yeah all of that stuff is going to be taking up a lot of time and so that leads me to believe that august is definitely going to be huge banger for sony and i literally cannot wait and apparently uh from someone that actually got the playstation 5 reveal event correct they were saying out on twitter that sony is getting ready to reveal the playstation 5 ui really soon i saw that and i was like wait what well i don't see why not maybe sony could just stealth drop the ui this month why not instead of cramming everything in august show it in july now jack and daxter that's another game um that we've been hearing that could potentially be at um this august state of play that's another game you know what i'm saying i am praying and hoping for a metal gear man the internet will melt if we could see a metal gear like metal gear 6 something metal gear related david hater already said that he's down for another metal gear um we heard rumors about bloodborne 2 happening or sort of a bloodborne remake or remaster or something like that now we have not received that in this june presentation so could we potentially get a Bloodborne remaster or Bloodborne 2, which we know from software is actually busy at the moment, but at least a teaser. I think a lot of people would definitely appreciate that. Or we could see Bloodborne running on PlayStation 5 with visual upgrades, which we heard rumors saying that we might not see that. So yeah, there's so many different factors on what you know we should be saying and what we could be seeing so we'll see on that front but i do think that sony is definitely going to have a banging show for us in august now on the microsoft side of things i just don't see us being extremely like blown away here i mean from what i've been hearing they pulled something from the initiative like the the new game or the reboot apparently it's supposed to be perfect dark and i'm guessing the game is not ready so they actually pull that from there but i mean halo we know that halo is gonna have a big presence at the show now besides halo what else do you have well we heard about a new fable now a new trademark is indicating that yeah they renewed the the whole uh trademark for fable so fable you know it's probably gonna be there so fable and halo what else? Forza Motorsport 8 or Forza Horizon 4? Um, it's too early for Gear 6. So the only thing I can see is maybe some new IPs, some stuff that we don't necessarily know about. It's kind of 
a big gray area over Microsoft side of things because we still don't know what they could potentially show other than the obvious stuff, right? Halo Infinite, you know, Fable. Um, they said no perfect dark remake, you know what I'm saying? But I think Microsoft needs to blow this show out the park. I mean, they need to come in, talk just for a little bit and just dump right off into the games and let us know what we're getting ourselves into here because Right, this is crazy. What's up, King uh, Mo? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate you guys. So, we'll see. I mean, we'll see at this point. You know, it, the sky's the limit, and I think the ball is in Microsoft court at this point to really kind of dig in and give us something that we've been waiting for. So we'll see. I don't know how many. Oh, let me see right now. Just quick survey. How many of you guys are excited? What's up, Fox? How many of you guys are excited about the Xbox Series X showcase? Let me know. How many of you guys are excited? Let me see it. Let me see how many of you guys are excited. Not really. Mildly, zero, heck no, me, nope, not excited. So you guys are not excited. You guys are not excited for the show. All right, so let me, all right, so let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think that Microsoft is gonna blow it out the park? Like, do you think that, cause their back is up against the wall. Let's be honest here. So do you guys think they're gonna blow it away? And what are some of the games that you guys wanna see at the show? Let me know. Ford Mustang says Xbox all day. Okay. All right. What's what are some of the games you guys want to see? Um, they have to, they are done. Yeah, they have to. They don't have a choice. Their back is against the way they gotta blow it out the park. Um, I won't be surprised. Hey, I won't be surprised either, but I I really they have to come, they have to. Another Batman, Halo Forza doesn't excite me. Um, Halo and new IPs, banjo. There's no games, um, Mike and Baron and James. Oh Lord, um, Halo, Banjo. Um, uh, they need new IPs. Yeah, of course they need new IPs. It's too early for Gear Six. So, other than Halo, Fable, they said that the new game from the Initiative, Everwild, Elden Ring. I mean, what else do you have? What else? What else do you have? I'm telling you, we need some new IPs. That's gonna blow us away bruh oh shout outs to matheus for that new art in development man appreciate that dude appreciate that you actually taking the time to do this i mean yo wait a minute hold up hold up This comes as no surprise, but I guess it's a tactical noob, right? I guess it's a tactical noob, right? So. Skyrim. The next Skyrim? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold up. So Skyrim special edition for ps5 appears on amazon france elder scrolls 5 skyrim special edition playstation 5 just appeared on amazon has a placeholder release date of december 31st 2020 Skyrim on PlayStation 5 special edition. Interesting. That just popped up out of nowhere. Um, I know. Yeah. Elder Scrolls six. We're going to have to wait a long while on that one. But yeah, I'm done with Skyrim for a long. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people say that they're actually done with Skyrim. They're like Skyrim. What? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm done with that game. You know, it's just I, I, I don't know, man. I've, I've been done with Skyrim for since 360. So I'm not necessarily too hyped for this one on PlayStation 5, but 
you know, we'll we'll see, man. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely see what happens on that one. Um, Quantum, I didn't like Quantum Break, but it might be there. I mean, it, we might get that. I mean, I don't know, man. Quantum Break, mm, I don't know. Like I said, you got to come better than that. You have to come better than that. If you, mm, I don't know, guys, got to come better than that. God of War 2, like I mentioned before, God of War 2 seems as though that it's going to be in there. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, my God. OK, hold up. Hold on to your seat, boys and girls. We got something else. Practical nuke incoming! Oh my God. Okay. Now, this is going to, this is gonna spark a little bit of conversation amongst yourselves. Now, remember yesterday edition of the show where I was talking about, um, Give me a hold on just a second. Hold on, y'all. What in the world? Now, here we go. <sighs> Ask yourselves this. Are you going to be in agreement with this one? God of War director Corey Balrog prefers an increase in PS5 game price. I repeat, God of War director, a lot of y'all going to be pissed about this. God of War director Corey Balrog prefers an increase in PS5 game price instead of cash grab microtransactions within games. Now, here's where I stick my pen. Let me see what y'all have to say about that. Here's what I think. Microtransactions, I am not for that. I am not for that. That microtransactions, destroy games period there's different ways that you can add stuff to games rather than getting people to pay for the game look bro we already pay for the game up front and then you're gonna make us buy items within the game that should be quote unquote free so Corey balrog saying that he prefers a increase in playstation 5 games versus microtransactions now if you're gonna charge more money for playstation 5 games or Xbox Series X games, there need to be a, a increase in value. So remember yesterday's show, we talked about how Microsoft is saying developers should not charge for free next gen updates, right? If you buy the PS4 version, you get a free update for free. Yeah, it should not be charged, right? People, they should not be doing that. But some developers like 2K already start that mess and saying, hey, if you want NBA 2K21 on PS5 and Series X, we're going to have to tax you $10. That should be free. They already charging you $10 out the gate. And that is wrong. That should be completely free. So I, I, I agree with the part where no microtransactions. I don't, I don't prefer cash grab microtransactions because that's ruining um, game experiences. Now, here's the thing. Corey Balrog says games need to go up in price. I prefer an initial increase in price to always. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let me let me reread that. Games need to go up in price. I prefer an initial increase in price to the always on cash grab micro microtransaction build hellscape that some games have become. So I do agree with that. I don't, I don't need no freaking microtransaction, bruh. So 
Corey Balrog saying that games should increase. He's saying that games should go up. A lot of people don't want to hear that. <laughs> a lot of people don't want to hear that. I think games should stay the same price, but not with technology, not with the way how these next gen systems cost so much to make. And these games, these multi-million dollar triple A games, you know what I'm saying? That we want to play like them Call of Duties and them freaking, you know, all these AAA games that you guys know, Grand Theft Auto and all of that, those games takes at least five plus years um, to come out and such. And so, yeah, you know, just think about those games are going to go up in price. And he's saying that he's with it. Now, a lot of developers are supporting this. They're supporting that games need to go up in price. And with this economy that we're in right now, I don't think that's fair to consumers to pay 70, 80, 90 dollars for a freaking game. Like, no, not unless we're getting value here, right? Where you're going to throw in all the DLCs for free. We're getting the next gen upgrade for free and not be greedy like 2K charging us ten dollar tax just to play that next gen version. No, that should not be the case. That should not be the case here. So we will see on that front. Now, did you guys hear that there is a PS5 on eBay? Mind you, it's cardboard. Don't mind the Bojangles. It's cardboard. And it's selling for $1,000. Now ask yourselves this. Would you guys pay a thousand dollars for a cardboard PS five? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let that marinate. Ah, God. Let that marinate a thousand dollars on eBay for a cardboard design PlayStation five. No, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I, I I'm good. Good. 2020 is all already weird. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Now here is the PlayStation five stacked up to the box art here you guys go take a look at this shout outs to ps5 only so there you guys go i think i think that box art looks pretty clean to match the console aesthetic wise um that looks clean i ain't gonna lie that looks pretty clean but i'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on a, a ps5 cardboard I'm just not going to do it, but there's the box art. There is the PS five and everything right there. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. Just kind of going through some miscellaneous stuff, making sure that we are in the right direction here, pushing forward. I think. Okay. Let's see here. I think. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Um, rumor, uh, Nintendo was not on Nintendo. Um, Tomb Raider, the ultimate experience potentially in the works coming to switch. I'll be good. Um, let's see here. Amazon France list another unannounced take two switch game. That's interesting. Hmm. This is all miscellaneous stuff, y'all. Miscellaneous stuff. Well, I think that's it. Let's get to the Q&A portion of the show. If you do have any questions or concerns, feel free to drop it on your boy. I do appreciate you guys so much, man. Seriously, thank y'all so much. All right. So Q&A time real quickly here. Q&A time, Q&A time. If you do have any questions uh, for your boy, uh, feel free to drop it on me. 
Um, we'll, I do my best to answer um, all of your questions. What's up, Matt L? How you doing? Welcome um, to the show here. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for the support. Um, really, really do appreciate you guys. Xbox One has sold 50 million units and only get um, only gets 8 million congruent players a day. That's crazy. Our right, Marlon gave us a lot today. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, Marlon, did you see the DualSense controller in real life? Yeah, I saw an image of it, but we'll see. Um, Marlon, are you doing a PS5 giveaway? That will be in the wraps. That will be in the works, but we'll see on, on that front. Um, let's see here. Marlon, do you think Capcom should bring Lost Planet? I think so, but I don't think there's a huge demand for that, but I think so. I think so. Um, how about a new Vita Pinata? Oh Lord, have mercy. That did not even do extremely well on the Series X, so why would you even do that? Um, let's see here. Uh, say, hey Marlon, do you think the Xbox One S and X will go down in price if it's being, oh, of course. Yeah, most definitely. As soon as Microsoft officially dropped the price for the Series X and um, the and they launched the S version or the Lockhart. Yeah, it's going to go down in price. What are you talking about, uh, Jack? Um, let's see here. Um, I think they should, but only if they pay the developers more. Don't pocket it. OK. Um, laugh out loud. If you have a, 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 let's God. get it going, man. To the brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. My boy, Practical my boy, getting us going. Coming. Where them dono wars boys at? Where them dono wars? Let's start the war, man. Let's go. Let's get that. Do let's get that dono wars going, man. All right. My boy, Michael with the ten dollars says ps5 can't wait let's go my guy appreciate the love man hey let's go don't know wars let's go man thank you so much thank you so much man down to 178 uh, here don't know wars let's go um let's see here <clears throat> evolve says so now that i got the ps4 um just need to get Bloodborne, God of War. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let the Dono Wars begin. Let the Dono Wars begin. Uh, it says, Marlon, will you be streaming Ghost? Heck yeah. And I will have an unboxing for you guys. I'm actually going to try to find a way to do it. Uh, will you stream Ubisoft event? Maybe, because in the past, they've been issuing out copyright strikes. Uh, to people who stream their events, which is crazy. We can't afford that. Um, yes, Dono Wars. Let's go, man. Let's go. Um, let's see here. What's up, Jack? How you doing? I'm saving up the money for PS5. Hey, you better do that. Marlon, is MGS Twin Snakes worth buying still? Yeah, of course, man. Any Metal Gear, old Metal Gear game is worth buying for collectible purposes and because the story is so good. Uh, I said, Marlon, are you streaming the uh, Treehouse live tomorrow? Probably. I'll see. I'm not going to make no promises. I'm not going to make no promises, but we'll see. Um, bro, what um, you think about WWE 2K Battleground? It looks it looks interesting. All digital $300. That'll be lit. Um, will the PS5 be fully backwards compatible? Uh, apparently via cloud. Um, is a new 007 game coming? I, I would hope so. Um, let's see here. He, um, has my gamer tag and still couldn't tell which games I play. They were public. Okay. Um, you sure they aren't meaning VR? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, it says, no, there are a handful of enthusiasts in there. Okay, I says, man, what game you would like to see a uh, sequence on Series X? Honestly, man, I need to see something new. I need to see something new. 
how further are you? Uh, I haven't even opened up Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's still in the plastic. I'm, I'm reserving it for PS5, like I, like I said before. So that's one game I haven't played yet. Um, hey Marlon, which superhero should have their own game? Um, I think Black Panther should have his own game. Uh, Marlon, um, when do you think God of War 2 is coming out? I'll say probably in another three years or so. Probably in another three years. Um, let's see. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 was phenomenal. I know, I know. Uh, Sony owns part of Epic uh, Games now, bruh. They got that stake. They got that 250 million, bro. That's a lot of money. Ooh, we, ooh, we. Mm, 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 mm. I tell you. Um, let's see here. Sony got that bread. Of course they do. Um, all of this reading, I couldn't believe, but you really have good facts. Oh, thank you so much, Stace. Um, we need a multiplayer mode the uh, for The Last of Us 2. Okay. Black Panther, extremely boring character. Sorry. Okay. Um, Marlon, um, are we going to, uh, talk to the PS5? I'm pretty sure we will. Um, just tell me what it is, Mike L. So I don't pull away from the chat. Uh, freeze vamp. What's up, man? You just woke up. Welcome, man. Carnage. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, let's see here, man. The best of Nintendo, I think is super Mario 64. Uh, let's see here. Pink pant. Oh, Lord, did you just say that? Did you just say that? I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that at all. I'm not even gonna even look at that at all. Like that is insane. Um, you play Tekken? Yeah. Gr growing up as a kid, I haven't played it in years, but yeah, love Tekken. Uh, it says, do your Kratos, uh, do your, uh, boy voice boy only fire when I tell you to fire. Marlon, um, today, Nintendo live event steals Xbox show, man. I don't know, man. We still got to wait till the 23rd. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think the flash would be dope on PS five. It's SSD capabilities. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Marlon, do you think there is going to be a PS six? Of course. I hope the Xbox series X is successful. Yeah, because it adds balance to the industry. And if Xbox Series X is successful, then open up doors for us. Only fire when I tell you to fire. <laughs> uh, thanks for the suggestion though, Marley. Ignore me. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Evolve. Go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fredo's only fire when I tell you to fire. <laughs> um, it says Buzz. <laughs> oh, wow. It says, Marla, do you think that there will be a light blue PS5 at pre-order? I don't think I think they're going to hold off, you know, on that. But we'll see. Um, how long, uh, you think gear six, I think gear six probably need about another two or three more years in the oven. Uh, Marlon, you are funny. <laughs> well, I just, I try to make you guys laugh. You know, every, every show I try to make you guys laugh. That's my goal, man, is to make you guys laugh, you know, try to entertain you guys as much as possible. Give you guys a good, a good showing. So. 
Appreciate you guys, man. Uh, 4chan link that Super Mario RPG. Man, take everything from Super, I mean, from um, 4chan with a heavy truckload, a sea of salt. Um, in regards to the rumor Nintendo Direct, there's another rumor that apparently Crash Bandicoot is supposed to be the next. We'll see on that one. Uh, Marlon is a great sport. <laughs> um he says i got no problem with any of you he says brand okay okay it says marlon i came to the dark side finally got the ps4 um what are these amazing games i should play bro spider-man god of war horizon zero dawn days gone just just start off with those man um so, and then obviously you got to play last of us play the original last of us and then play two um it says marlon my wife wants a remake of need for speed underground 2. me too me too me too it says um do your warrior hey guys why are you here all right let's see here um it says you are going to scream for that uh nintendo rec i know hey um, um animator what's up man how you doing uh what's good bro sorry i'm late hey it's all good man you're here bro uh says marlon what would you like to do in a flash game um well just be creative you know just be very creative um make put my imaginations bring my imaginations to life yeah um did you play midnight club edition yeah heck yeah on ps2 heck yeah i did mm -hmm. uh boy only fire when I tell you to fire. Uh, <laughs> uh, it says, Mar uh, Marlon, before yesterday, Halloween kill teasers drop. I was so happy. Oh, yeah. So do you like WWE? Oh, yeah, of course I do. It says, your thoughts about Last of Us 2 and then haven't even gotten there yet, man. Still playing the game. Um, <clears throat> For we are Venom. Uh, Marlon, what's your favorite gaming moment? Actually, one of my favorite gaming moment was like sitting front row right next to Hip Hop Gamer and some other journalists and developers when God of War 2018 got revealed. Uh, did you play Bioshock? Heck yeah, man. Um, hey, Marlon, um, would you get a limited edition PS5 instead of a standard one? Yeah, if it's if it's a limited one that I'm really interested in. Yeah. Uh, PS5, this version for me. What's up? Uh, this version for me as well. Uh, let's see here. Um, it must be hard to read all the comments. Hey, I, I try to do the best I can. You know, it's only going to get <laughs> it's going to get more and more difficult, you know, as time progresses, you know, especially when we have a full house of a thousand people in here. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty pretty high. Um, let's see here. Are you excited for a new Venom movie? Yes. Marlon, are you ready for Ghost of Shima? Heck yeah, I was born ready. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, do your Venom voice. I just did it a while ago. For we are Venom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Marlon, I love that. We'll do the understand. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. It's an amazing game. Uh, it says the only reason why I'm getting the Xbox Series X down the road is for Gears. Hey, I do agree. I do agree with that. Gears, like I said, uh, Gears kind of went downward for me. So mm, we'll see. A Rise Son of Rome 2 would be insane. Imagine if they if they make if they can make a Rise 2, I'll be down for that. If they can make that happen, I'll be down for that. There's no question, no no doubt, no question about. Uh, it says, Marlon, did you hear that Capcom said Resident Evil Village isn't RE8? So there still is a RE8 in the making. Ah, I think I saw something on that. Exclusive world premiere. Um, is Ghost of Tsushima supposed to be like a new Ninja Gaiden? Ah, uh, not necessarily. What about Sly Cooper on PS5? Yeah, keep dreaming. I mean, probably, I mean, I don't think so, but we'll see. Probably in the future. 
Uh, Marlon, can you explain to me what is 10, uh, 10 Okun 2020 live event um, about is on August, fir, um, August 1st? Um, probably nothing. I've, I've never heard of this event before. But let's 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 see here. Um, seem like indie, like an indie, like an indie, um, like an indie showcase or something like that. It has something to do with Warframe or something like that. So yeah. Uh, bro, you active with your subscribers. Much love, bro. Yeah, I try, man. You know, I try. I'm one of the few people on this platform that really takes the time to talk to, you know, uh, their their audiences and stuff like that. A lot of people don't do that. I don't know why, because if it wasn't for your fans, man, you wouldn't you wouldn't be where you at. So try to, you know, talk to my talk to my peeps, you know, as much as I can, much as time allows me to. Um, if we get a direct on the 20th, I'm thinking, uh, they might, uh, reveal the seventh. Uh, we'll see. I think that's a little bit too early, but we'll see. Um, make sure, uh, you boys watching July 23rd. Oh yeah. You already know. I got that on lock. I said, do you think if the PS5, this version got sold out, will you buy the digital? I mean, if I ain't got no choice, then yeah. If I ain't got no choice, then yeah. Uh, I said, Marlon, do you think the price? If uh, well, this guy is credible, so we'll see. We'll see. I uh, can't wait to play Hellblade Two. You're gonna be waiting a while because apparently the game is like in um, early development. I said, do your mark, sir. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for that one. PlayStation. Something that we've been trying to do here, it's um, make the PlayStation 5 architecture like a little bit more uh, on the crisp side of things. And something that we're getting ready to do here with PlayStation 5 that I think a lot of people don't understand is that the backwards compatibility for PlayStation 5 will fully utilize the hardware to its fullest potential. Hence why we're talking about cloud gaming. Now, cloud gaming for PlayStation it's something that we and the team have been working very hard on. So let's begin here with a little bit of the teardown of the PlayStation 5. Now, the PlayStation 5 is a very unique and it's a fast one. It's a very intelligent console that I think a lot of people are missing out on. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I might check it out. I might check it out vlogs. I might. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it says, remember, remember the 5th November. Nice. <laughs> he said, he said, we would love uh, we, uh, we say we love you in his MJ. <laughs> oh man. It says Mike and James coming back. <laughs> Y'all are funny, man. He says, I think Mark Cerny, um, his mom, uh, <laughs> uh, it says better, better be rated R. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you guys are having fun rocking out with your boy, man. I, I try to do the best I can for you. I, I, I try, I try, I try, I try, I try, I try, I try to do the best I can for y'all. I, I really do love you guys, man. I really, really, really love you guys. You know, really do.
Um, it says, do Cerny and send us all your ear. <laughs> oh my God, man. Much love, broski. I try, man. I, I, you know what? I try to give you guys the news and I try to make you guys laugh. You know, sometimes you guys come in the show, you come in the stream and some of you guys are bugged down. You know, some of you guys are stressed out and you know, I, God bless the talents that I have to make people laugh. And um, I just I just want to put a smile on you guys face, man. You guys are awesome coming here every single day, even though I'm very consistent and I'm very determined and you guys come here every single day. And I really do appreciate all of you guys, man, whether you donate or you don't and you just come here and give me your time. Appreciate y'all. So the least I can do is make you guys laugh and make you guys feel welcome here. You know what I'm saying? Because we all family. You know what I'm saying? We all family, man. So I love y'all, man, from the bottom of my heart, man. Appreciate you guys. You guys have changed my life in so many ways. And I'm one of those few YouTubers that's going to keep it real with you. And I'm going to love you guys back. You know what I'm saying? We out here, man. Um, God bless y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. <clears throat> really do. Um, it says, uh, that's life uh, happened, bro. I know, man. I know. Uh, Quad uh, says, you're the best. Thank you so much, Marlon. I like watching you. It says, we are here, bro. Uh, keep it up. Much love. Um, appreciate you, Marlon. Hate the harassers, but still great stream. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Weren't you the one that said that you got many pockets? What was it, Jackie? Was it many pockets or many holes? I, I don't know if you got holes in your pocket or is it many, many pockets? <laughs> I'll respect. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Man. I really do. Uh, it says, um, if you're not subscribed to Marlon, then you're, what are you doing with your life? Oh, appreciate that. I uh, appreciate you, Marlon. Much love. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate that, man. We out here, man. Let's go. Let's go, champs. We're all champs. We're all champions. Let's go, champs. We out here, man. Um, Marlon, the king of streamers. Man, that's a bold one right there, but I appreciate you. I really do. Uh, oh, Jackie, Jackie got a lot of holes. I know. I know you got a lot of holes in your pocket, and you got a lot of pockets, Jackie. Welcome, Jackie. Welcome. Welcome. Um, let's see here. Uh, G2G. Let's go, man. We out here, man. We out here, man. Um, let's see here. My my favorite streamer. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. It says, are you going to react to the uh, Nintendo? Yeah, if, if, if I can get to it in time. I might, I might do something for you guys. Um, I might, I might end up doing it. We'll see. Um, it says stop it before it's too late. Uh, it says Marlon shared uh, you something on Twitter. Okay. Uh, that strip money. Hey, I told y'all get y'all signs, man. Look, we got our signs ready right here. Look, we got our signs. Get your signs ready. Because next gen is going to go up in price. So get y'all signs ready. Start, start, start begging. Y'all, y'all need that money. Start begging. Oh, yeah. Tomb Raider, the ultimate experience coming August uh, 27th. Mm. Get your signs ready, y'all. Get y'all signs ready. Jackie, Jackie got a lot of pockets. That says many pockets to hold my cash. Jackie, hey, look, maybe maybe Jackie can change change our situation here with these heavy priced games. Uh, I says, at what time will Nintendo? I think it's at 10 a.m. PT, so 12. I think Eastern time. You're the best, Marlon. Keep up the great work, bro. Appreciate that, Huffman. Man, we out here, man. Um, at at what? Uh, let me see here. Let's see here. Um, it says, get your only fanboys ready. PS5 games coming soon. Uh, Marlon got. Got the belt. I oh, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Merch, still working on that. All right, let me let me see. Let me ask you guys. How okay? Who is good with Photoshop? Who who is the graphic design? I'm I'm not talking about just amateur design, but who is really good at graphic design? Like 
went to school for it or just have a natural talent and really know like can make some triple a stuff like who is good with like graphic design work like or, or is there any in our family here is there anybody in here that is really good with photoshop like can make quality logos i'm not talking about some crayola logos but quality um marlon power squad uh marlon i'm in canada games are 79 dollars before taxes jeez man here i thought canada was cheap photoshop's my thing okay well hit me up on twitter um okay anybody who is good with photoshop or good with um graphic design work hit me up on twitter um just make like a simple logo you can make like a let's go champs like so let's with a z right at the end and then champs with an exclamation the best person to actually make that yeah we'll we'll get their logo featured on the shirt right and we'll get a special shout out uh, from me as well. So if you guys know how to do logos, because we're trying to, we're trying to get, um, we're trying to get our merch off the ground here. And the guy that is supposed to be responsible for our logos, yeah, he's. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. I, hopefully, all is well with him. I don't know if he's um, not feeling well or what have you. But if you guys can make a I'm talking about spectacular logo that can go on a shirt. Message me out on Twitter with your designs. Okay. My DM is open. Message me something really nice. Starting off with that. Let's go champs. All right. So a Z at the end, go champs with an exclamation. And then we can use the best design to put out on a shirt. And we'll give you guys a special shout out for that one uh, to help us with the merch and stuff. So if you're really good at graphic design work, you can make logo, you can go into Photoshop, you can make things happen, you can make it look. I'm talking about like something that you will buy from a store good. Let me know. Uh, I said, Marlon, you better, uh, you, you are better than PewDiePie. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Says, I got, I, I, I got not talent when it comes to Photoshop. Oh, not even Photoshop, just graphic design work, because I know people use different programs to do like graphic design stuff and what have you. So if you're very good at that, follow me out on Twitter, message me um, and stuff like that. And then we can go from there. There's my Twitter if people don't have it already. Um, but honestly, though, guys, I really do appreciate you guys for rocking with your boy. Um, appreciate y'all, man. Um, it says, Marlon, we need that that oof shirt. <laughs> Most definitely, I'm, I'm looking for a graphic designer. So if you're fire with graphic design work and you can make some really, really cool designs, follow me out on Twitter, DM me and stuff, and then we'll go from there, all right? So I appreciate y'all, man, from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for holding down the show, for making the show an amazing show, all right? Until tomorrow, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. Peace. Love, let's go champs. We out of here, man. <laughs>